The reason that I'm making this video is because I don't feel like there's enough information out there. And I also feel like whenever I was going through this, I just wanted to watch a woman talk about her experience and just get sort of straight to the point of what was happening so that I could see if I was experiencing the same thing. And now I realize that I am having a miscarriage and I wanna share that information with you. So I'll get straight to the point. It started with minor cramping on one day, um, a little bit of cramping prior to, but I had stopped feeling nauseous and my boobs were no longer sore. I wasn't as tired as usual. And, uh, but I didn't really connect the two. I just sort of figured that I was done with my nauseous spout. Um, then after the cramping, about a couple of days later, I had light pink blood on my tissue. It wasn't enough to get on the underwear but it was enough to where when I wiped, it was very light pink. And I worried, but I'd also read from so many people online and talked to people that it was normal, that the cervix has a lot of blood and that there's a lot of blood flow in that area. And so then it's bound to happen. So I didn't think much of it, but the cramping along with the bleeding worried me. On the next day, I was still bleeding and the cramping intensified, but it wasn't unbearable. It was just like mild cramps, just like, you know, your period. The next day, I began to bleed heavily. Very, very bright, bright red blood on my tissue. Um, and then later on that afternoon, it started dripping into the toilet. The next day I experienced blood clots, lots of lumps. Some of them were small, very, very small. Like some of them were as small as a grain of rice and some of them have been as big as, <sighs> bigger than a quarter, I mean, for sure, pretty big, but nothing large. And um, that's whenever I knew that something was really wrong. And the cramping just got worse. It's sort of like labor, you know? Whenever you are going in labor, I, I've i had a child previously, um, it's like they come every few minutes and they last for a specific amount of time. The cramping was like that. And I could tell that my my body was doing work to expel the tissue. Um, right now, I don't think that I'm done. I do believe that I still need to pass the baby. I don't think that I've passed the baby yet. I've only seen blood clots and I've looked through them and I haven't seen anything that looks like the sac. So I'm just patiently waiting for my body to finish. And there's nothing that I can do really at this point. If I go to the doctor, they're just gonna send me home and tell me that my body is gonna do it naturally. Um, and I think that one of the things that I've come to peace with is that my body is intelligent. It knows what it's doing. I'm grateful that it plays that role and that I don't have to make that decision because I think that once our minds and our emotions get involved, we might choose something that's not best for our babies or for us. And so our bodies are very intelligent. And I think that that's part of the curse of being a woman is that we hold a large responsibility in populating the planet, birthing our sons and daughters. And with that responsibility comes the potential of losing a life that you have been 
creating and nurturing and loving. It is sort of like a curse. And I think that most of my pain comes from having heard of these stories before, but never thinking that they would happen to me. Not because I was like, oh, that, that'll never happen to me, but it just never occurred to me because I'm not high risk. I don't have a high, high risk pregnancy. There's nothing wrong with my body. Um, I don't have diabetes. I don't have high blood pressure. Um, my diet is consistent, most all vegan. And I do nothing but drink water all day. I'm healthy. I'm young. And when you realize that it can happen to you, it is humbling. It's humbling and it's powerful because you acknowledge that it's beyond your control. And that it's not your fault. And I think that's the number one thing, is to realize that it's not your fault. got a pregnancy test and I wanted to see what the result would be but the truth is unless you go and do blood work to compare your HCG levels to about two days prior you won't really know because the pregnancy tests can read that you're pregnant even a couple of weeks after your miscarriage and so then you should really wait about a month or so to take a pregnancy test to see where you are. But um, my test did say that I was pregnant, um, which caused a lot of emotion inside of me. Um, it's just a lot of mixed feelings. The cramping right now, because I don't feel like I'm done, is intense. And it comes and goes in waves and it just feels like labor. So different women experience different things. Some women experience no cramping at all. And some women experience extreme cramping. So don't expect for your miscarriage to be the same as other women's. Just read up as much as you can on different experiences. Watch videos. And that's going to be the thing that I feel prepares you the most for how diverse this experience can be. So as suspected, I had not passed the baby. And now I just did. I'm going to pick it up with my hand and show you guys what it looks like. Well, We've come to an end of my miscarriage story, unless something else happens to happen. Um, other than that, I think that I'm pretty much done passing the baby, as you guys might have seen already. I just wanted to put this story out there because there's so many women who I feel like aren't prepared, like me. And have so many questions and want to know what happens what does it look like how do I know and for sure I've heard you will know a lot of women describe the feeling of these clots coming out like a, a gush that's what I've heard and referred to it as it's very humbling and it definitely makes you respect the ability to give life a lot more <clears throat> so I do apologize to my viewers for not being as glamorous as some bloggers, vloggers are whenever they create their videos. Um, and a lot of you who already know me through social media probably are used to a different face. But this is, this is me right now. This is how I look. This is how I feel. Face puffy, eyes watery body hurting. So welcome to this very real human experience with me and I wish you well. <laughs>